Good morning, South Rock. Welcome to another Acts devotion. Today we are in Acts 22, verse 30 through Acts 23, 11. It's a long section of scripture that all takes place in one event where Paul is in front of a Jewish tribunal to see if he's broken the law. Uh, and honestly, I could have asked a million questions on this. There is so much to look at. This is a very interesting story, one I enjoy quite a bit. Um, so let's jump into it. First off, Paul is ordered to be struck in the mouth by a Jewish leader, and he pipes up and says, hey, this is against the law. You're, you shouldn't be allowed to strike the witness. That's not what, how we do this. Uh, but it turns out that his uh, admonishment of this man is against the law itself because this man is a high priest. And so he apologizes for that. He says, I didn't know uh, this was happening. And that led me to my first question. You know, we... Uh, we have this kind of traditional idea of sin being sins of commission and sins of, of omission. Uh, sins we do commission and sins we, uh, from something we don't do, sin of omission. This is kind of a sin of omission. Paul doesn't know that this man is a high priest and so therefore he sins because of ignorance or uh, just not having the knowledge of the situation. What's a sin in your life that you might have committed a long time ago, maybe it was recently, that you just, you weren't really aware that it was a sin. You didn't understand. Maybe you were early in your Christian walk. Maybe it was something that you just were reading <laughs> through the Gospels and went, oh, I'm doing that all the time. That's not good. But what's a sin of omission in your life? And how can you repent from that? How can you correct this wrong that you've done? Paul does it right away. He apologizes. He says, I, I wasn't aware. And, and he, he moves on from there. So what's something in your life that you can work on in that? Uh, so he continues to be there and he realizes that half of this tribunal is Sadducees and half are Pharisees. Now, the Pharisees and Sadducees are the main Jewish leadership of the time, but they disagree on one major point, and that's the resurrection uh, or resurrection after death. And so realizing that, Paul smartly brings that up and it causes this huge fight among the leadership to the point where Paul has to be dragged out because they're afraid he's going to get hurt in this scuffle. Uh, which is really interesting, and it made me think of this question. The Pharisees and the Sadducees had one concern on their mind, and it was that they were right. They wanted to make sure that they, everybody there knew that the Pharisees were right about the resurrection, or the Sadducees wanted them, everybody to know that they were right about the resurrection. Nobody really cared about what actually was right. No one really cared about Paul or what maybe scripture said or teaching said about resurrection. They just wanted to make sure they were right. So, what's something in your life like that? What's something, I want you to really dig deep on these two questions, I know, but think about it. What are, what's something that maybe you've held true your whole life that you've never questioned, that you've never said, maybe I'm wrong about this, and I'm gonna quote an old professor, God can handle your doubt. So if it's something that you've been like, you know, I've always just believed in God without thinking about it, God's going to stand that test, but maybe it's something else. Maybe there's other things in your life that you're like, you know, I've always believed this. Maybe I ought to look into the uh, counter argument just to know. Uh, but as long as you always come back to the scripture, as long as you always come back to the gospel, these things will stand up to that test. So I guess uh, the second question really is what's something that you need to make sure you're right about and, and you just don't hope you're right about. Anyhow, I know these are deep questions today and this is a long video, but uh, this is a really interesting story, and, and I hope it caused you to think today. So have a great rest of your day.